my channel and if you're new what up so you guys happy first day of fall as i'm filming this it's actually the first day of fall and i'm super excited to bring y'all this video because i've been hinting at it on my community tab as well as on tiktok this is going to be my starbucks drink scent layering video so i'm doing combos with body care and perfumes that mimic drinks you can get from starbucks or from anywhere really during the fall time y'all already know i did my thing with these combos and i'm super excited like i always say every time i come up with some bonfire combinations i just be like yo i really did my thing i feel like y'all really are going to enjoy these i did already do a teaser with one of the scent combos and y'all ate that ish up so i'm super excited to show y'all the rest of these like I'm just, I'm super excited. It's four combos, okay? I, I definitely could come up with more. Like, if y'all want to leave some comments down below of, like, different drinks, then I probably could come up with more. But these are kind of, like, the more popular ones. So, of course, I did a pumpkin spice latte one. I did a um, vanilla mocha cream one. I did apple macchiato. And then I did the cinnamon toast crunch latte, which I feel like is the most unique one out of all of these. But they're all really, really good, like really really good and i'm mixing and matching a lot of the same items so that you don't have to jump around too too much like i mean with these layering combos you're gonna have to use different things and you're gonna have to do some layering and you're gonna have to have different products but a lot of these combos are using some of the same products repetitively y'all will see that so if you guys are interested in seeing my starbucks drink combos then just keep on watching so of course i'm gonna start with the one that i have been teasing for the longest um i just want to talk about that that one like even though y'all have seen it already i gotta actually talk through the process talk through the steps okay so the first one is going to be my cinnamon toast crunch latte combo so what you're gonna start out with first is the new tree hut cinnamon dolce shea sugar scrub i have two of these honestly i might need more because i feel like this scrub right here will carry you from fall all the way until winter it's that yummy it's that good it literally smells like crushed up toasted graham cracker. It has like a sweet cookie creaminess as well, but you get a lot of that cinnamon spice, a lot of that graham cracker. It reminds me of like pie graham cracker crust. So you can literally use this for so many different combinations. I use this today to do a strawberry cheesecake combination because again, since it has that like toasted graham cracker, graham cracker pie crust note, you can really put a lot of different body care products with this to create a cheesecake type fragrance. There's so many different variations you can do, but back to this, okay? So yes, you're gonna start off with the Cinnamon Dolce Shea Sugar Scrub to give you that like really cinnamony type of vibe. And then you wanna keep that going. So you're gonna use the body wash as well. You have to follow up with this body wash again. I have two of these because I am obsessed and I'm really going to try and like not run through it so fast. I wanna just be able to enjoy this throughout the entire season. So yes, you're gonna wanna use this shower gel as well. And then to start to add in some of that creamy latte vibe, like that foamy milk vibe that you get from lattes, you're gonna wanna use the Dove Calming Oatmeal and Rice Milk Body Wash. Now, I had never used this before. This is my first time having this body wash. Definitely not going to be my last time. When I tell y'all, this just smells so creamy and smooth and light. It literally smells like whipped foam milk. Like, it's so, so good. It's just a really nice soft scent. This will be perfect for layering with so many different things. Anytime you want to do a soft vanilla, anytime you want to do a marshmallow, anytime you want to do a latte type vibe, anytime you want to do something along the lines of soft and sweet, this body wash right here, it's perfect. So I'm glad that I picked that up. So you're going to use that body wash. All of that is giving, again, the Cinnamon Toast Crunch Latte. Now, when you get out of the shower, you're going to follow it up with the Tree Hut Body Butter. And this is the Sweet Cream. Now, this is another product that is a staple. You absolutely need this. Any layering routines that you're going to do this fall, you definitely are going to want to have this. This is just so good, you guys. It's literally a sweet, creamy fragrance that can go with anything. I feel like it has a little bit of a fall vibe to it, but honestly, it's just super soft and sweet and creamy that it can layer with anything. And I'm gonna layer it a lot with these combos. So again, now you're out of the shower, you have that cinnamon toast crunch, you have that latte, and now you're adding like the sweet cream cold foam on top. Then you're gonna add some more spice and you're gonna use white pumpkin and chai. And I know that this has pumpkin in it, but I'm telling y'all, this literally just smells like cinnamon cider, spicy, sweet, but not too much. This is not like 
a gourmand fragrance, but it has enough sweetness, enough cinnamon. It just, it screams fall. This is like a really quintessential fall type of scent. So you're gonna wanna add that. And if you want a little bit more sweetness, you can use this. This is the Kaumba May Vanilla Bean Fragrance Oil. Now I definitely need to get another one of these from off of Amazon, because as you guys can see, mine is almost gone. I just really wanted to test this out and see if it was worth the hype, and it definitely is. This is just your sweet, creamy vanilla bean type of fragrance, like vanilla pod, sweet extract, type of fragrance so you're gonna want to add that to again keep with that just like sweet creaminess of the latte so you're gonna add that and then to top everything off to give you that really like coffee latte type of vibe you're gonna want to use a black opium by YSL now in all honesty I wish I had Nuit Blanche from YSL that version of black opium because that one has like a I think it's rice milk uh note so it's a little bit more creamy um a little bit more vanilla but I feel like black opium will definitely just round all of this up especially if you only do a few sprays it's going to give you a little bit of a robust coffee smell because you do still get coffee in lattes it's just very very milky and creamy this is going to give you a little bit more of a robust coffee but if you're using it with like i said the vanilla bean oil the sweet cream body butter everything is just going to tie together and it's going to be the perfect cinnamon toast crunch latte vibe i'm telling y'all when i say that combo is simply fire exquisite all of the above i can't stress that enough i cannot i need y'all to wear that i need y'all to try that out you're gonna be smelling like a snack you're gonna be feeling yourself it's just so good it's it's so good like that's i don't know i don't know i can't pick out of these which one is my number one i literally can't pick but i am obsessed with that combo okay so now let's move into the next one the next one is going to be my apple macchiato type scent so for all my apple lovers out there i feel like y'all are really 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 gonna love this one so I did take some um, pointers from the actual candle that Bath & Body Works has, and it does have like cinnamon, brown sugar, apple, of course. It's literally like a fall spicy sweet apple fragrance. So again, we're gonna start off with the cinnamon Dolce Scrub. This is going to give us that cinnamony vibe that you get in apple macchiato, like the little sprinkle that they put on top of it once it's all done. You're gonna wanna use this first, okay? And then to add the brown sugar in, we're gonna go in with my favorite body wash. Well, one of my favorite body washes. This is the Caress Shea Butter and Brown Sugar. This is their new packaging. Honestly, I want them to go back to the old packaging where the bottle was um, clear and you can see the actual body wash because it had like a little shimmer and glisten to it. So it made it look like your skin was just going to be radiantly glistening and beautiful. So it's still the same. It still smells exactly the same. I just wish that the bottle was um, clear and see-through like it was before. But anyways, this is going to add our brown sugar. This body wash smells so good. It always has over the years. I have loved this body wash. So you're going to want to use that. And then the next body wash you're going to want to go in with is Gingham Heart of Gold. Now, if you don't have this one, because I know that they discontinued Gingham Heart of Gold, so you might not have this one. Country Apple is probably the next closest thing that you can get. And if they don't have Country Apple anymore, I know that Suave has an apple body wash that usually comes out during the fall. Um, if you can't get that one, maybe the green apple one will still suffice, but if you have Gingham Heart of Gold, this is the one you want to use because this one is crisp golden apple, creamy vanilla bean, and warm sandalwood. This literally smells like a sweet but warm apple fragrance. It's so good. Still get that crisp apple, but then it has like those soft scent notes from the vanilla and the sandalwood in there. So definitely go in with that. Okay. And then again, to add that soft sweetness out of the shower, you're going to want to use the vanilla bean body oil. We're going to add in the sweetness because a macchiato is still pretty sweet. Okay, and then you're gonna wanna do the Gingham Heart of Gold Lotion. Of course, again, if you don't have this one, if you have Country Apple Lotion, definitely use that one or try and find any type of lotion. If you don't have the Apple Lotion, then definitely just go in with the Sweet Cream Body Butter. But you wanna kinda keep that apple scent note in there since you know this is an apple macchiato combination. Okay, and then everything else is just going to round out that macchiato fragrance. Okay, so of course, Gingham Heart of Gold, the Fine Fragrance Mist, but then we're gonna to add in a little bit of fancy as well to give us that nice sweetness and the very last perfume you want to top it off with is Britney Spears prerogative now prerogative has been compared to YSL black opium but the reason why I chose this one for this scent combination is because prerogative has more of a fruity essence to it so unlike black opium this one starts out with apricot and goji berries so you can still smell that sweetness that fruitiness it doesn't really read off as any particular fruit note so that's why I feel like 
like it goes really, really well with the apple in here because it doesn't read as like apricot. It doesn't read as goji berries. It just reads as fruity. And then you have like that coffee dry down like YSL black opium. So prerogative is definitely a perfect topper for this whole apple macchiato type of fragrance. It's sweet, it's brown sugary, it's apple-y, it's creamy, it's all of the above. So I really love this combination as well. Okay, so this is for all my pumpkin spice lovers. I always do a pumpkin spice routine. If you guys wanna see the fall combos I did last year, I will go ahead and link that in the cards. Um, it's definitely a lot different than in this but if you guys want to see that I would definitely link it so for my pumpkin spice lovers of course you're gonna start out with tree hut pumpkin spice latte shea sugar scrub this is actually the one from I believe last year but if you guys have the newer version then obviously use that one I don't think it's that much different but definitely go in with pumpkin spice scrub to go ahead and get that whole pumpkin spice vibe going. And then you want to add in some coffee. So we're going to be using the OGX coconut coffee scrub and wash. I love this. Again, this is a really nice coffee fragrance, but this is more of a creamy coffee fragrance. Like you can smell a lot of that coconut. I just love it so much. I feel like it is just so like sweet and creamy. It's a sweet, creamy coffee fragrance. So you're going to want to use this. And then to add in more creaminess, you can use this. This is the Crispy Marshmallow Bars fragrance from Philosophy. Now, if you don't have this, then definitely go in with Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte a Body Wash from Bath & Body Works. I actually don't have the body wash for Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte. So I feel like just adding in the Crispy Marshmallow Bars fragrance from Philosophy is going to give me, you know, like more of a sweet creaminess following after this coconut scrub and body wash so i'm going to use that and then out of the shower of course we're going to go in with more of the sweet cream body butter and the kaumba made vanilla bean oil because even with pumpkin spice latte even though it's pumpkiny and it's spicy and it's like a coffee fragrance you still have that creaminess in there so gotta add that in there to keep it all nice and sweet and then you guys, this combo on its own is really, really good. So if you don't care about the body wash, if you don't care about doing the whole shower routine, this combination on its own will hit and slap and everything. And I'm just like shocked that these two go together. So of course, Marshmallow Pumpkin Latte, Fine Fragrance Mist, and then Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth. So these two together, y'all already know, Sabrina Carpenter, it gives off that really sweet whipped cream, milky, chocolatey, vanilla-y, marshmallow-y type of scent. It's just so good. And I've always said that I feel like marshmallow pumpkin latte needed to be a little bit more sweet, a little bit more marshmallow in order for me to enjoy it. They've done better with it over the years. But I remember when marshmallow pumpkin latte, when I first tried it back in like 2016, I did not like it. I was like, this is not marshmallow at all. But over the years, they've added more sweetness to it. But y'all, when you pair it with Sabrina Carpenter's Sweet Tooth, these two right here, oh my God. When I tell y'all, this is sweet, creamy, latte, pumpkin, marshmallow, a hint of chocolate, just sweet goodness. Amazing. When you put this on your skin, you're literally going to be a walking snack. It's just like unreal the way these two smell. And if you just do the whole routine, if you have this up under it, I, I can't be held accountable for anything that happens to you while wearing this scent, okay? I just, mm-mm. Do not blame me, okay? Because I'm, I'm telling y'all, that one right there is definitely gonna hit. And so my last combination is going to be my Caramel Mocha Latte Fragrance. So this one is going to be heavy, heavy, heavy on the mocha. It's, it's good, okay? So you're gonna wanna start off with the Velvet Coffee Shea Sugar Scrub from Tree Hut. Now, I know a lot of people hated this one. I don't know why. I have no problems with this scrub. It legit smells like robust chocolatey coffee. Like I don't I don't have an issue with this one, but if you didn't like this one, the one that they have out now, I've heard people say that it's 10 times better. So definitely use that one if you can't get with this one. I personally don't have a problem with it. I think it just smells super, super chocolatey, coffee-like, heavy and robust. So I absolutely enjoy it. So you're gonna wanna start off with that. Then you can go in with the OGX Coffee Coconut Scrub. Again, just coffee-like, creamy, smooth. You're gonna wanna use that. And then follow it up with, of course, a Vanilla Mocha Cream, AKA Vanilla Mocha Martini, whichever version that you have. You're gonna wanna use this one because this one is Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, White Tonka Bean. It's a nice, sweet, creamy, mocha latte scent just very very good chocolatey mocha-y creamy just like the name says so you're gonna want to use that 
obviously once again we're doing this and we're doing the oil period so you're gonna want to use those give you just that nice sweet creamy type of feel and then you're gonna want to do vanilla mocha cream fine fragrance mist obviously as well as just for simpson fancy to go ahead and add in that sweet caramel and then you're gonna want to top everything off with prada candy nights and this is heavy on the mocha heavy on the cacao like i told you guys this one gives like a chocolatey cocoa powder feel it's a little bit more on the powdery side if you guys are familiar with the original prada candy it has kind of like that powdery essence this one has that as well but it's definitely heavier deep more on that cocoa mocha side so it just obviously pairs well with all of these and because you have so much sweet creaminess from just the simpson fancy vanilla mocha cream the sweet cream body butter the vanilla bean oil you're not going to be smelling too too heavy of cocoa and chocolate you're going to be smelling a little bit more creamy this is just to add a little bit more uh mocha to the mix but this one is good as well all of these together smell so amazingly good just simply fire okay and those are my starbucks drink scent combos you guys absolutely fire okay absolutely fire and i know you guys can come up with combinations on your own using products that you have you don't have to have these exact products to create these combos you can even use less products than i did and come up with like similar combos so i just wanted to show you guys all of this so you can be inspired so you can be excited about the fall time excited about your fall products start pulling your fall products out there's so much you can do so yeah like i said if you guys have any more drink suggestions just leave them down in the comment section below maybe i can make another video about all of these but yeah i'm super excited to just keep wearing all of these and keep wearing my fall body care i will be buying more fall perfume so be on the lookout for that just super excited about the new season so yeah that's everything that i have for you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video and my combos if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up and definitely leave me a comment down below if you're new thank you so much for watching you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the ferguson beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace